On 3rd January, Railtel made the announcement that it had formed a partnership with a technology company in an effort to commercialize its Wi-Fi project at more than 6,100 railway stations throughout India. According to a statement released by the company, a public sector undertaking, PSU, under the Ministry of Railways called Railtel signed a five-year contract with a consortium led by 3i Infotech Ltd, a global information technology company with its headquarters in Mumbai. Let's get a better understanding of this contract and the possible implications it will have on company finances. The other members of the consortium are Forensics Intelligence Surveillance and Security Technologies Private Limited, FIST, and Yellow Incorporated. Under the contract, the revenue will be generated by monetizing Wi-Fi footfalls in one of the world's largest integrated public Wi-Fi networks through targeted advertisements and extending multimedia infotainment services for rail passengers. This is India's first multi-year commercial agreement to monetize captive customers of public Wi-Fi network through collaborative efforts, the statement said. As per the contract, 3i Infotech-led consortium will pay 14 crore rupees per year or 40% of revenue earned, whichever is higher, to Railtel. The revenue will be largely led by advertising and supported by content services-based revenue and the consolidated revenue potential from the project is expected to be upwards of 250 crore rupees over five-year period, as per 3i Infotech's estimate. Railtel's public Wi-Fi network is now available at 6,108 railway stations across India and records more than 1.1 million unique users per day. With this collaborative deal, station Wi-Fi is set to evolve digital experience to users, the statement said. Railtel had posted consolidated income of 440 crore rupees for the quarter ended September 2022. This is against a 14% growth of consolidated income of 385 crore rupees in the first quarter of this fiscal year. The company's consolidated income for the half year stands at 825 crore rupees as against income of 696 crore rupees for the corresponding period of previous financial year. <laughs> 